arithmetic sequence. This time, we will be dealing with word problems involving arithmetic sequence. And specifically, I will teach you how to determine the first term and the common difference. Another lesson for Math 10. In solving word problems involving arithmetic sequence, of course, we are going to use the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is this one. We have n term is equal to the first term plus quantity of n minus 1 times d, where this a sub 1 here, this is the first term, or this will be read as first term. Another is a sub n, or this is the nth term. Then we have d, which represent the common difference, and n, the number of terms. So we will be using this nth term of an arithmetic sequence in solving word problems involving arithmetic sequence, and specifically to answer the questions that they will be, to answer the problems that we will be talking about. Okay, number one. The second term of an arithmetic sequence is 24, and the fifth term is 3. Find the first term and the common difference. Okay, take note. We are given with the second term, which is 24. Another, we are given with the fifth term, which is 3. Now, we are going to look for the first term and the common difference. Okay, how to solve this? So we have to take note the two given informations that we have, the second term, which is 24, and the fifth term, which is 3. So if we are going to write the sequence we have, we don't have first term, so we will represent that one as blank, followed by the second term, which is 24. Then we don't have third term, that's blank. Another blank, since we don't have fourth term, and our fifth term is 3. As you can see in our sequence here, we don't have three terms. First term, um, third, and a fourth term. So to solve for this problem, we are going to have a temporary first term and a temporary fourth term. Since we are given with the second term, which is 24, this second term will be our temporary first term. Since this is our fir temporary first term, this will be temporary second term, this one. And this will be our temporary third term. And this three will be our temporary fourth term. So that we can apply the nth formula of our arithmetic sequence. Okay, so substituting, we have n term. This is the last term, which is three. First term here is, our temporary first term is 24. So we will replace a sub 1 with 24. Plus, n number of terms is 4. So we have 4 number of terms since this is our first term, second, third, fourth. So we have temporary 4 number of terms. Minus 1 times d. We don't have common difference since there's no two consecutive terms here. So as you can see, for this part here, the missing value is D. So we will be looking for D first, the common difference. So simplifying, we have 4 minus 1, that is 3, times D, and that is 3D. So next step, we are going to apply the addition property of equality. So we will subtract both sides by 24, or we will add both sides by negative 24 to eliminate this 24, 24 here. So 24 minus 24, what will remain on this side is only 3D. So what will happen to the next step? We have 3 minus 24, and that is negative 21 equals 3D. Now to eliminate the numerical coefficient of D, which is 3, we will divide both sides by 3. Okay, so D now will remain, cancel 3, since 3 divided by 3, that's 1. So the numerical coefficient of D now is eliminated. So we have on the other side, negative 21 
divided by 3, that's negative 7. So therefore, our common difference is negative 7. Okay, so we already have the common difference. Now, we will use this common difference to complete the sequence we have above. So our original sequence, we have five terms, and we are only given with two terms. So to complete this sequence, we will apply, or we will use this common difference, which is negative 7. So what will happen now is, okay, this one. We already have the complete arithmetic sequence for this problem. So how did we get 31? Take note, our second term is 24. Okay. And then our fifth term is 3. If you still remember, to get the next term of an arithmetic sequence, we will add the common difference to that particular term to get the next term. So here, 24 plus negative 7, so it becomes 17 plus negative 7, this is 10 plus negative 7, and that is 3. So this is our fifth term. Now, to get for the first term, so this will be 24 minus negative 7. Okay, so 24 minus negative 7, and that is 31. So based on this sequence, we can therefore conclude that the first term we are looking for for this particular problem is 31. So for our first problem, the common difference is negative 7, and the first term is 31. Okay, second problem. Find the first term and the common difference of an arithmetic sequence with this given information. Fourth term is 10 and 11th term is 45. So take note, first term and the common difference are missing. So same thing. This will, uh, this will be our sequence. It will look like this. Our fourth term is 10. We have one, two, three, three terms here are missing, and this is our fourth term. And we have another six terms here are missing, and we come up with the 11th term, which is 45. So, again, we are going to make 10 as our temporary first term. Since this is our first term, so this will be our temporary second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and this is our temporary eighth term. Okay, applying the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, this one. Okay, we will substitute these given informations to this nth term of our arithmetic sequence. So our last term is 45. Our temporary first term is 10. And our n our number of terms, since we have temporary first and eight term, therefore we have a total number of eight terms. So we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have a temporary eight number of terms. Minus one times the common difference. So this is what we are looking for, the value of D. Okay, simplifying eight minus one, that is seven times D and that is seven D. Now, applying the addition property of equality, we are going to add negative 10 to both sides. So we have now minus 10 here, and we also have minus 10 here on the other side. So this will be 10 minus 10, that will be 0. And on the other side, we have 45 minus 10, and that is 35. So what will remain on this side here is only 7D. Now, to eliminate the numerical coefficient of d, which is 7, we will divide both sides by 7, since 7 is the numerical coefficient of 7. So, divide both sides by 7. Okay, or actually, this process here, we can apply the multiplication property of equality. Okay, to make it easy, so we will just simply eliminate the numerical coefficient of d, so that d will remain. So, cancel 7 divided by 7, that is obviously 1, so d now remain on this side, and 35 divided by 7, and that is 5. So therefore, the value of D, or the common difference of this particular problem, is 5. Now, using this particular value of D, we will complete this sequence here. Okay, on this side, going to the right, we will add 5 up to 45. 
Going to the left, we are going to subtract 5. So, what will happen? What will happen now? We have this particular sequence. So, we have 10, our fourth term. Minus 5, we have 5. Minus 5, that's 0. Minus 5, it's negative 5. We subtracted 5 since we go to the left side. And if we are going to go to the right side, go up to 45, we will add 5, which is our common difference. We will add 5. So 10 plus 5, this will become 15, plus 5, 20, plus 5, 25, plus 5, 30, plus 5, 35, plus 5, 40, plus 5, 45. So if we are going to count, we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 terms. Based on our given, our 11 term is 45. So take note, we have here 45. And our fourth term here is 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So our fourth term is also 10. So they are correct. Therefore, looking to this arithmetic sequence, our first term now is negative 5. So for this particular problem, the common difference is 5 and the first term is negative 5. Okay, I hope you learned something from this and we'd be able to solve problems involving arithmetic sequence specifically on uh, determining first term and common difference.